I'm heck here at the 3D Systems booth, and I'm here with Derek. Derek Johnson. So tell me a little bit, this is one of the newest systems that 3D Systems has come out with. Tell me about Absolutely. this additive manufacturing machine. Yeah, so my name is Derek Johnson. I'm the product manager for the MultiJet printing product line. And one of my newest products that I'm really proud to talk about is the ProJet MJP5600. What's really great about this product is that we can do multi-material printing in large format. So we can blend a rigid plastic and an elastomeric, blend those at the voxel level and create differentiated mechanical properties. Well, why does that matter? Because engineers and designers are looking for more capabilities out of their 3D printers, right? Now we can do over molds, we can do integrated gaskets, and not only can we do that really efficiently, we can do that at up to twice the speed of our nearest competitor. So how fast is fast and what's the build size? So the build size on the 5600 is 20.4 inches by 15 inches by 12 inches. That's actually the biggest build volume in its class. So we can put more parts, larger parts. Some people are printing multiple parts, so we can print a lot of parts. The way this printer works is that it uses an uh, industrial size print head. We actually have two print lanes. So right now this particular print is printing in one lane, so we're actually able to print a lot faster. We also have a special build mode that allows us to print even twice as fast as we're printing right now. Is that less uh, accurate to have that it's twice as fast? less accurate. Actually, whether we're printing in our low res mode or our high res mode, we're printing at the same level of accuracy, okay. we're printing at the same level of resolution and part quality, and we're doing that a lot less expensive than the competitor. We're up to 40% less, less expensive than our nearest competitor as it relates to part cost. So what's the difference between low res and high res version? Actually layer thickness. So, the, so because this is a layer technology, we can control the thickness of the layer. So we have different selectable build modes. And, the, and that's done by using our 3D Sprint software. Our 3D Sprint software, I love it. I've been using it for well over almost two years now. And it's a one shop client software solution that allows a user to go in, check files, do very high-end repairs, also set up their build very quickly. I just did a demo for a prospect that came in and he was blown away at how easily and how simply he could go from an imported file to a repaired file to a fully ready-to-print file. I did it in about less than five minutes, actually. You have a couple of parts here. I have a couple of parts. Me. I wanted to talk about our newest material. This is VisiJet CRBK. Mm -hmm. This is a rigid black material very hard, stiff material, has great temperature profile. This is typically used just like this for auto panels, parts that need to stay stiff for insertion into automobiles, uh, lawn mowers, if you can think of paneling. This material works really, really well. And again, it has a high temperature profile, so it performs very, very nicely in, in high temperature situations. And it looks like it has a strong durometer reading. So this is about a sure D 80. We have elastomeric materials that are down to a sure A30 and we can actually blend those with the rigid plastics to create a, a variety of different mechanical properties in a single part. So why would an engineer want this machine? This is his one shop tool for prototyping, functional prototypes for testing as well as really getting all of his ideas out of his head. He's going to want it for speed, he's going to want it for total cost of operation, he's going to want it for part quality. Those are things that are important to engineers. They don't want to have to go to different printers to get different capabilities. They don't want to have to do secondary processes. This is their one-stop, basically design tool in a box. Great. Thank you so much, Derek. Appreciate it.